Hello, Game Comes Back. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to reach second C, reach max level in haste piece. But before starting, show your support by using Star Code Gamer Nom when purchasing your Robux. Just a disclaimer, guys, every time you use my Star Code, I get pain. And before we head to the second seat, check this out guys, I'm so lucky we got the D clan, 0.1%. Here are the benefits of having the clan, from Conqueror Spirit, to Health, to Observation Hockey, plus Stamina, plus Skywalk, Walk Speed, plus Health Regeneration. So guys, that's a lot, right? But again, all I care about is the X in the chest and this one guys. The Conqueror's Hockey <laughs> really looks great. Anyways, let's head to the second sea okay so first you need to head to the starter island yes starter island and look for a specific npc okay just located near the uh, afk area dimensional sailor so he's gonna ask you to look for the pony glyph okay so where's the location guys there you go but gamer gnome how do you look for this pony glyph scroll okay guys i'm gonna show it to you don't worry guys anyways this is the pony glyph oh that's really good don't worry guys i'm gonna show you the location according to the dimensional sailor middle of some rocky pillar area okay so just look to your left there you go there's the rocky pillar areas okay just head to one of those pillars the rocky pillar specifically in the middle yeah i think it's in the middle just start your left there you go and then wait wait okay here guys there's an entrance here look for it oh oh let's buy the sky jump here later <laughs> okay so guys i won't be fast forwarding it so that you can see it properly there you go guys you see that okay let's jump there you go that is the area where the pony glyph scroll is located just press e and ta -da! okay so aside from that guys before we head to the second sea we're gonna buy something okay also located in this area it is just near the chest there you go the skywalk trainer black legs so requirements gamer nom level 1000 and uh 200 000 bellies or dollars <laughs> uh, the currency in this game okay so after evolving let's go back to the sailor again in the starting island and that's it guys welcome to the second sea so what's next? Okay, so you're hiding backpack. There you go. Yarg. So you want to start a new adventure in the second sea? Oh, that's cool, guys. Yarg. Okay. Interact again to teleport. Guys, are you excited to head to the second sea? I am. So let's go. Anyways, again, we're gonna reach max level. I told you in the start of this video. So I will make things fast because, again, we will be changing our fruit. Okay, guys? So previously we are using the ice fruit now i think we are gonna use the light fruit okay so first up we're gonna start with the flower capital first target guys the samurai. okay at level 2200 so guys check this out the update is new which means that there are lots of other players grinding so better watch out for those bounty hunters so that's just one c skill mirror kick illumination z skill we got light sword at x skill and we got Guys, V skill the Sacred Jewel is really strong, guys. Okay, let's use our Conqueror's Hockey. There you go. Nice stun. And then after that, we're gonna use our own skills. Okay, Sacred Jewel. See that? That is our bread and butter for damage. Okay, so guys, again, continue grinding here until 2250. Next up, the Strong Samurai. So guys, we're done with the Samurai. Now we're gonna defeat the stronger ones. So as you can see, if you're able to hit your skills properly, we only need two skills to defeat them. One V skill and Z skill. Okay? There you go. Okay, so at level 2300, next up, Shinobis. So we're done with Samurais now. We're going to defeat Ninjas. So guys, Sacred Jewels and one Illumination is enough to defeat them. Really easy, right? Yes, so if you want to grind fast, go for Light Fruit. Yeah, Ice Fruit is also good. Level 2350, Shinobi Elites. So guys, first samurai now we are destroying ninjas <laughs> okay so as you can see it's really easy guys as long as there are no bounty hunters shout out to bounty hunters also guys uh there are only four areas here <laughs> so guys next up is this one oh dragon fruit user okay he's busy the udon prison 
Okay? So, target here is the officer guards at 2,400. So, again, guys, let's check our combo if this is enough. Check that out, guys. Again, one sacred jewel and one illumination is enough. Okay, guys, check this out. Uh, please report this dude. He is, we call this, a scripting. <laughs> I don't know why they do that. <laughs> Anyways, 2,450 sergeant guards. We are defeating samurais at first, next ninjas. Now we are defeating guards. So this is where Luffy trained, I guess. There's also this one, Magnetic Fruit User. I think we will be doing this one, 1 to max. Do you want? Comment it in the comment section, Magnetic Fruit User, 1 to max. There you go, guys. Sergeant Guards. So guys, we're gonna grind here until we reach. Oh no. Oh guys, check out! Gear 4! Do you want me to like make a video of this? Want to max using gear 4? Comment it on the comment section we died. <laughs> Sadly. Guys, level 2500 Mammoth Boss. So this is kinda tanky. Check it out guys. We're gonna use all our skills. Okay, and I think that is not yet enough to defeat or burst this Mammoth Boss. Again, if you're gonna ask me this, like, uh, what is the name of this one? This is one of the commanders of Kaido, right? Guys, I forgot. Is it the Calamity? Ah, I forgot, guys. Sorry. Anyways, this one is really tanky, but yeah, he's beatable. So, guys, you're gonna grind here until 2550, and after that, we will leave this area, finally. That one's hard. We will grind now in the frozen, oh no, sorry, snowy graveyard. And our first target here is the Grave Robbers. Okay. So again, good thing our V and Z skills still effective. And I think we can do this until we finish grinding until max level. There you go. Okay guys, so at level 2600, change opponents, Elite Grave Robbers. So guys, again, let's just say cycle now. Like from Samurai's, Elite Samurai's, Shinobis, Elite Shinobis, Grave Robbers to Elite Grave Robbers. <laughs> At 2650 guys, change, 3 sword style boss, which means this is Zoro, right? Check this out guys, it's really hard, everyone wants to like get the sword, so just make a party with the other players instead of fighting them. So as you can see guys, make sure to damage him, he will still level up, there you go, oh, we got the green cloak, this one's good if you're a sword user. 10% increase in sword damage plus 1700 health. Oh guys, a sea beast, so let's check the sea beast here, check that out, how gear 4 flies. It's the same with the anime. It's really good, guys. Okay. By the way, if you want to swim with a devil fruit, there's an item. I think you can get it from Neptune. I forgot. Uh, if you want to help other players, just comment in the comment section. But I think that is the item from Neptune, okay? So you can uh, like long-range attack this enemy here. Uh, sea Beast looks good. Not that strong. Which is also good. <laughs> So we can grind. So what will you get from defeating this one gamer now? We will be getting two, five bounty plus experience and some other rewards, okay? And finally guys, our goal here is to reach level 2700 and I was finally able to defeat this 3 sword style one, boss 1v1. One one. There you go. As you can see, he has some skills. And uh, what is harder gamer now? The mammoth or this one? They're just tanky guys. Nothing's hard. <laughs> okay, 2700. Next stop, guys. Next island, I mean. There you go, the Desert City. So here, our first target, Desert Pirates, 2700. We're almost there, guys. Last 150 levels. And again, our V and Z skill is still very effective, okay? Just a reminder, guys, not just leveling up. We will be unlocking our Observation Hockey... I think that's level 3 or something. Don't worry guys, after this, 2750, right? We're gonna look for that. There you go guys. Level 3 observation hockey, yes, it's correct. For the requirements, you need 1 million bellies and 2500 uh, level, okay? So that's it. At level 2750, our next target would be Desert Captains. Okay, so now this we're not fighting like elites now. <laughs> now we're fighting captains. Okay, so I think that's the hardest part in making these games, naming mobs. <laughs> Right? <laughs> okay guys, so we're gonna defeat this one until level 800. And after that guys, can you guess who's our enemy? If you're gonna base it on Blast Fruits, you won't get it because again, this is a desert. So our final boss is a desert boss. <laughs> For this update, okay? So we're gonna defeat it 1v1. As you can see guys, really easy. I think this one's easier compared to uh, the 3 sword style boss. 
There you go. We're also using sword. Again, guys, we're using light fruit here. Previous one, on our previous video, we're using the ice fruit, right? There you go, guys. So, we're just gonna grind here until 2850. And I think this, that will be it for this video. So, guys, please comment it in the comment section. Should we grind the magnet or the gum first? Okay? I'll be uh, reading comments. And again, guys, I hope that you learned how to reach second C and you've learned some tips on how to grind here fast. Okay? Okay, so again, that's it for this video. Again, we've reached max level 2950. Again, this is GamerNom. Thanks for all your support. Here are the stats. Okay, so GamerNom out.